Hello guys and welcome to this short in-game scoreboard guide. My goal with this video is to teach you all the features it has to offer and that you might not know, and I think even advanced players will learn at least something. So let's get to it. The very first thing you should know is that during a game you can go in the settings and choose between two scoreboard display options, full screen and half screen. The half screen mode is harder to read because it is smaller, but it allows you to use the joystick read chat and see your map when the scoreboard is open. Now let's get the most basic stuff out of the way. The scoreboard icon is located in the upper right corner of the screen next to the chat icon. In the top part you will find objective respawn times, the game score and elemental dragon icons above the team who kills them. For every player you can see the champions they play, summoner spells, keystone, trinket, Level, KDA, Gold, Items, and Bounty if they have one. By default, the same hole from both teams will be on the same line, so it is easier to compare performance between them. But you can also reorganize the player's order by dragging them around. When an enemy player's line becomes dark in the scoreboard, it means they are currently not within your team's vision, and their item list and gold amount are not being updated. Here, you can see that once Renga comes back within my team's vision, he instantly goes from having a tier 1 item to a tier 3 item. You can ping any champion summoner spells by holding the spell icon and then selecting the one you want to ping. If you want to ping an ultimate ability, it is faster to just tap on the champion's portrait instead. This can be used in two ways. First, you can let your team know that your ultimate or flash is not ready yet and show the cooldown time for it. This way, if you need to wait a few more seconds before your ultimate is ready, your team can wait before engaging. Just be aware that you cannot ping enemy cooldowns, only the ones for yourself and your allies. Just like for spells and abilities, you can also ping items by just tapping them. Finally, you can mute all communication from a player by clicking the mute icon, or you can also hold the icon and select to mute specifically chat, ping, voice or emotes. This can be useful if you want to mute a teammate who is very toxic in chat, but sends useful pings anyway. And that's all for the main scoreboard tab, which you had probably seen before, but now let's talk about the three other ones. They are not packed with as much information, but they are still very useful. The second tab of the scoreboard allows you to see detailed values of five different stats for each player. Health points, attack damage, ability power, armor, and magic resistance. These values are updated in real time for teammates as well as enemies within your team's vision. The third tab is very straightforward. You can see your own stats in real time, and if you tap on a line you will see the details. This can help you realize how much your passive effects are scaling during a game. Finally, the last tab is where you will find everything you know about your champion's abilities and passive. When you are playing a new champion, I recommend that you open this tab when you have died or when you are walking back to your lane from spawn so you can learn more about the abilities during this downtime. So that's it guys, that's all there is to know about the scoreboard. If this guide was helpful to you, maybe share it with your friends. I will soon post guides on everything you need to know about the minimap and ping system, so subscribe if you are interested. Anyway, thank you for watching, see you next time and good luck for your next game.